Ah, Peter. There you are. Thanks for coming up. Your call, your call sounded quite urgent. Everything all right? Well, actually, no. I wanted to see you because I've been getting a lot of complaints about our, one of our departments. Really? Which department? Apocalypse. Apocalypse? But that's one of our best. What's wrong? Lots of complaints about the Four Horsemen. Well, I would have to say I'm really surprised. All Four Horsemen have had a millennia of training for their roles, and I thought they really hit the ground running. I thought they were doing a great job. Hmm. They're very enthusiastic. I mean, you only have to look down there to see they have war, famine, pestilence, and death off to a fine art. Yeah, Peter, I don't doubt their enthusiasm, but... But... I'm getting a lot of complaints that they're not even-handed. I mean, these are just the recorded complaints about famine from Africa. Complaining seems a bit harsh. Famine is excellent at his job. He's inflicted starvation on millions there. He's doing good. He's doing great. I know that's what we trained him for, but I mean, don't you think he's a bit random? Random? Yes, sure he's got people undernourished and undernourished in their millions in Africa, but look at America. There are people starving there too. Some, yes, but the majority are doing just fine. I mean, have you seen the size of a Big Mac? I'll be honest with you, Peter, I've always prided myself on the company being right up there with the best when it comes to equality. I mean, but the starvation does seem to be a bit concentrated in some places and people of color. Uh, but we do have a cross-fertilization policy. What? Each of the four horsemen's work complements each other. So, for example, where famine can't get them, death will step in and take people out with high cholesterol or high blood pressure or diabetes. Wait, so you're saying to me that we have a deliberate strategy to starve some people and kill them by overfeeding? Yes, although Pestilence does his stuff as well. But he seems a bit random too. I mean, there's something like a half million dying from a disease like malaria and then billions who never contract it. Uh, now, we did see that our market cover wasn't great there. So Pestilence has been working on some much more widespread pandemics recently. And I think it's worth noting that it's not in his contract to kill everyone, only to make them ill. Well, I can see war is already doing more than enough on the killing people front. He's very good at his work. Switzerland? Sorry? I mean, Switzerland is an example of somewhere that never has a war. But asking why we never have war in Switzerland, then we have them in others. War is doing its best if you want conflict across the globe. You need more horsemen. Don't forget, we tried world wars twice and they just weren't sustainable. So you're saying to me that the four horsemen of the apocalypse is not enough. The original business plan never envisioned a population approaching 8 billion. Peter, you're suggesting that war, pestilence, famine, death have too much work and can't, can't cover the whole earth? They can't. <laughs> so they focus on particular areas and particular people. But some areas and some people are completely untouched. There's only so much suffering that can go around. Peter, I'd like us to look at things having a bit more equality. In what way? Well, for example, why does all war have to be in the same places? It's not all Predominantly, same... it is. And why does starvation and the worst disease have to be concentrated on people of color? Is it? Yes. As is poverty, which means a shorter lifespan, so the same people are getting more attention from death. Well, when you put it that way... These people are right to complain, Peter. So what would you like for us to I do? want things evened out. All of our customers should have the same quality of service. What does hmm mean? They won't like Who? It. The rich. There's a significant majority down there who have enough cash to insulate themselves from famine and pestilence. It doesn't matter how hard these two work. They can't make much of an impact. But you said the four horsemen were engaged in cross... Cross-fertilization. They are, but war and death can't make much of an inroad with the wealthy or the entitled either. Why not? Well... They tend to have all the resources. That means they're able to shift inequality and arm conflicts on the others and keep death at a distance, or at least for longer than the poor. I can't believe this. I mean, I've always imagined we trigger the apocalypse and the whole world would have an equal share in armed conflict, disease and, and starvation, and that, that will culminate in the death of everyone. End of days. Now you're telling me that it's actually the minority who are having it fall on them. And if you live in a wealthy part of the world, you're pretty much okay. I suppose so, yes. 
So if the majority are wealthy, how come they don't share their excess with those who aren't? That's not how they roll. And they don't share their food? No. And they don't share their medicines with the sick? No. And they don't use their power and influence to stop armed conflicts or create equality? Not really. And they don't die as early as the unfortunates? In the main, no. Why wasn't I told about this? Well, well uh, what? Well, to be honest, we all thought you lost interest. Lost interest? It was obvious a while ago that they really hadn't turned out how you hoped. We kind of thought you'd given up and decided to work on a far less ambitious project. Really? And humanity, do they think I gave up on them? Not all of them, but... But most of them, I see. You're upset. I had no idea it had gone so bad down there. And now I find that we're making things worse by, by setting the four horsemen disproportionately on the disadvantage. There's only so much disadvantage Call them off. spread. What? Call them back. Get war, famine, pestilence, and death back here now and call off the apocalypse. But what about the end of the Cancel world? Cancel it. It's not a good world down there. I can see that. But bringing about the end of days by pouring more misery onto those who are already miserable and giving the fortunate a quick and easy exit from life isn't acceptable. So what will we do instead? Bring about some equality, Peter. But how? There's a huge gulf between the have and the have nots. I'll tell you exactly how. We're going to change the climate. I think they're doing a pretty good job of that themselves. I know, but we'll exacerbate it. We'll give them droughts and, and storms and, and floods and tsunamis, but we'll bring them right across the globe and they can all have some. And we'll even divide them in their own lands and they can still have their regional conflicts and they can start dealing with an enemy within. Wow. We'll even throw in some food shortages as well for the richer. Goodness. And they can all learn to deal with disease, not just the poor, not just the third world, all of them. So you're going to punish them? Not punish, Peter. We're going to teach them. We're going to teach them and the rich that they are just as vulnerable as the poor. And we're going to teach the poor and the disadvantaged that they won't be carrying the world's suffering alone. I'm not sure it'll change them. But it's worth a try. I mean, maybe, just maybe they'll start to think of themselves as a part of something that we're, where they look after each other as equals and that success and disaster should be shared in equal measures. Okay, I'll get right on it. I'll speak with our natural disasters people right away and I'll get some societal divisions organized as soon as possible. Thank you, Peter. But what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't change them? Then it'll really be the end of days, but it won't be us that brings it about. It'll be their own doing. And the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Tell them they can take a break, and then they'll be sent for retraining. Oh, to, to do what? If the human race puts itself right, we might just redeploy them. On peace, nutrition, health, and life. <laughs>